Every year, countless high school seniors go through the rat race of applying to colleges. Some get denied, others get accepted, but all will sign by May 1st. This is one student's journey. Well, my name is Will Azar. Um, I go to Crespi Carmelite High School. I'm a senior here. Um, currently, I'm in football program. I've uh, been through it for four years. Uh, that's what I'm currently doing in the fall. So this will be your fifth year of football? Uh, my fourth. Your fourth year? Fourth year. So you, you've been through three. This is going to be your fourth? This is going to be my fourth. Okay. All right. Just clarifying. Just clarifying. Got it. Um, I'm applying to a lot of schools, actually. Um, some people say, you know, it's a lot of schools, but okay. I think it's just okay. the right okay. amount. Okay. 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 No, talk to me, talk to me. Occidental. No. ASU? No. U of A? No. U of A? You were Mr. U of A Ivy last League. week. Ivy League. So you Hi, Will. What can I do for you? Hi, Ms. Barkins. Um, as you know, college application season's coming around, and I have a ton of schools I'm applying to. Uh, a ton? You mean 12, 13? Well, kind of. You see, I, I, have a, I have a really big range. I have schools that are reach schools to me, schools that I want to apply to, schools uh -huh. that my mom wants me to apply to, my dad, my sister, schools that my friends are going to. That's important, too. Um, you know, really top schools as well. I see. Uh, how many schools are we talking, Will? Um, well, I want to, I would say like 30 to 40, just, just to name a few, um, you know, Stanford, MIT, USC, Boulder, CSUN, um, UC 30? Santa Barbara. 30? Yes, give or take, yes. Gee. Would you like me to name some more? Well, uh, can you tell us what you're looking at? Oh, um, I'm just looking at you know some schools across the globe or across the map here. See right here, LA. You got UCLA, USC. Some top schools for me. I know that's gonna be good. Iowa. We got Grinnell College. Good place. And I heard uh, Grinnell's looking at you for football, is that correct? Uh, we'll see. Uh, Monsters Inc. over here. I heard, I heard Monsters Inc. wasn't, wasn't a real university. Well, I, I applied. And that's My name is Robert Hunter, I attend Crespi of Will, and I'm a senior. I currently work with Shamanad my freshman and sophomore year, and I transferred in my junior year. Well, man, <laughs> was a character. Uh, you know, he's, all, he's, a, he's a fun guy to be around. My name is Tyler Knudsen. I'm here to talk about my great friend, Will Lazar. Now, three years ago, I was sitting in Miss Leonard's room with Chaucer Cook, and he was like, dude, one day, Will Lazar is going to do great things. And I was like, what are you talking about, Chaucer? And he's like, dude, I'm on the same club rowing team as William Lazar, and I'm hearing he's already getting offers. Like he's like Lonzo Ball, he's like Eric Sonheimer's up his ass. Really, Will Lazar's a rower, and he's like, yeah. So I'm like, all right, I gotta check up. So I've been homies with Will for a while. We've been chilling and stuff. I hear he's getting to U of A. He's getting like full rides from ASU and stuff like that. And it's just like it's crazy because I didn't get any money from anything, and I'm like somewhat of an athlete. He's a homie. He's getting the, the chicks and stuff. He's getting everything, but it's like, where does he get the time to do these things? He's like getting into 52 different schools. Like, how does he have time? Will Lazar for best of all time. Alex Shepard. You're Alex Shepard, and uh, do you know Will Lazar? No. The first time I met him, I called him. <laughs> The, uh, the first time I met Will Lazar, I called him Slumdog Millionaire's face, and uh, oh, he got really pissed off at me. Hey, what's up, Nick? How are you? Hey. 
Thumbs up. Great. How are you? Great, great, great. Fantastic. See you at practice later. See you, man. Can't stand that kid. I swear to God. So Mrs. Barkins told me that a lot of schools is good. All the schools I applied to is good, but short is better. You know, quality over quantity. So I'm narrowing it to more elite schools with a smaller list. Strictly Ivy Leagues, pretty much. So Brown, uh, Harvard, Yale, Princeton. Um, you know, I'm, MIT's in there as well. Maybe even Caltech, if I want to stay here in California. Do you have the test scores? Well, you know, I have a 4.0 GPA and five uh, teacher recommendations, so I would say I'm Yeah, a, yeah that, that's great, but do you have the test scores? Well, I played football for four years, so I, th I think I'll be okay. <sighs> you know, all right, I, I, think, I think we're good for right. All right, thank you. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I almost forgot. I'm taking the test in two weeks. What test? The ACT. Stay right. tuned. Hey, Paul, how are you? I'm good. Everything's good. Um, I was wondering if I could come in today for ACT tutoring. Uh, after, all right, talk to you soon. Great guy. Um, my ACT tutor, his name is Paul. He's a great guy. Um, yeah, so basically, Every day after school, I try to go to ACT class just to, you know, um, get a better score. I really, I really feel confident after all these classes that I'll do well. I'm just working really hard to make sure, you know, I get a good, good score, help me get into a good university. Let me tell you this, I feel really confident about it, that I know I'm going to score well. I, yeah, I usually do double sessions just because, you know, I just want to get as much material as I can every day, just so have the most practice I can. When it comes to ACC time, I'm ready. I'm ready for that test. Standardized tests play a large role in nearly every college application. These tests measure a student's proficiency in subjects such as math, English, comprehension, and science. Each year, 1.8 million students take the ACT, with an average score being 20 out of 36. Elite level colleges look for scores in the range of 32 through 36. William Lazar has spent months preparing for today. So today the scores came out. Um, Jake Ralph actually shot me a text during English saying that he got a 32. And I think I'm going to top him. We'll see how we do. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. I studied really hard. I did really well. I think I did really well. I felt really good. So. Let's go ahead and check it. Let's check that score. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, there has to be some other student that does not make any sense at all. How is that even possible? English 21, math 17, reading 21, science 24. No way. It's, it's impossible. This has to be someone else's score. There's no way. Mm -mm. I'm calling dad right now. Yeah, I'm calling my dad. I'm telling my score. Dad, never believe it. Yeah, I just checked the ACT score right now. I got a 21. I think they might have had a mistake or something because there's no way I got a 21. You and I both know like how hard I studied for this and uh, like the practice exams. I got like 31s, 32. How would I get possibly get a 21? 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it says 21, yeah, and I'm logged in, right? It's not like I'm logged in wrong. Yeah, this is my account. Yeah, that's my email, and this is my account. It says, for English, I got a 21, math, 17, reading, 21, science, 24. Yeah, I know. That I, believe me, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll call them. There has to be a mix-up. Because I know for a fact that, like, the reading I did really well on, so there has to be a mistake somewhere. Okay, I'll let you know. Thanks, Deb. So I guess I got it 21. Hey man, it's Will Azar here. On May 1st, I have a big decision coming for you guys. It's going to be my college decision of my choosing. That's going to be so hype. You guys definitely want to stay tuned. It's going to be lit. You can follow these social media accounts. DM me any questions you want. Maybe some projections. I don't know. Hit up Ryan Lee, Ryan Ashens for some uh, bets maybe even possible. So we got at Will Azar, Instagram, Will Azar, Twitter, Scrolling Fancy Eyes, Finsta. Stay tuned. May 1st. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be lit. See you there. May 1st, 2017. Signing day is upon us. We see Will Lazar walking in. Yay, Will. Ready to take a seat. He's shaking his hands with all these supporters. start by saying thank you to everyone that came out today. Um, I want to say a big shout out to my family, dad, thank you for everything, my mom, all my friends and brothers behind me, and to all the teachers and coaches for always pushing me towards the right direction, towards success. Um, it's been a really rough journey and I've had a lot of support, a lot of time to think, and I'm going to be taking my time to the University of... This is Jake Ralph. And this is Ryan Lee, reporting live at Crescent Carmel at High School for ESPN. ESPN 2. We're reporting for ESPN 2. Alrighty then. Uh, well, today was Will Lazar signing day. And we finally got to know where he would be attending college next year. You know, it, it's been a long journey for us. From starting the documentary, mm -hmm. to filming Will Lazar and all his uh, peaks and valleys. He, uh, he went through a lot, you know, going, going and uh, applying to different colleges, getting a list of some of the most elite colleges in the area. You know, Harvard, Stanford, Columbia, MIT, Caltech. To getting his a bit old ACT score. It, you know, just just to sugarcoat it a little bit. Um, but you know, even with that, he persevered. There were tons of obstacles, even like other than the other than the test scores. And you know, he, his he, kid kept plugging away. You gotta admire his perseverance. Yeah. honestly, he he cut down a school mm -hmm. from uh, about forty. But like I said, all of the uh, top tier. Edu notch, ed education. Yeah. And he, he whittled it down to 20-ish, you know, and then... And then finally down to about uh, 10 or 12, which is all we could ask for the kid. Yeah. And the, these schools included prestigious universities like the University of Arizona. And Arizona Mon State. Monsters University. That's not real. Oregon. Oregon State. UC... Is she UC? Oh, UC Merced. Merced and Riverside. And San Diego. No, I think it did. He, did he I, get the knife? I think he did. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, by mistake. Uh, ES, yeah, ESPN doesn't provide us with the, the meat and the great facts. But, you know, uh, this kid has been humble throughout. As we said, he's gone through thick and thin. And it's just really validating to see him finally sign today. It was, it was a great experience interviewing him. And... It's a great, exp great experience just talking to him. He's, he's a great man. He has great character. Bright kid. And uh, when he signed, 
it was a little bit loud, would you say? It was, yeah, we had a very raucous crowd today, um, just cheering all around, yeah. Um, did you manage to hear exactly where he signed? You know, I believe, and with, you know, the Donny Brook going on in the back and all the cardigans on the, uh, mm -hmm. on the, all the uh, monkey business. Yeah, all the, all the monkey business, yeah. the cardigans set out before him. I believe he signed with the university of 